right, it's that time of the programme again where we have our twin testosterone test and helping me out today is none other than Johnny Cantley. This man was born on a bike. Two very different characters. One's Italian, one's Japanese. One's sushi and one's pasta. Let's find out which one's which. Suzuki's six and a half grand SV1000 has its origins in the bonkers TL1000S, a bike that was so hilariously demented they tried to ban it. The Ducati S4R is wallet-bustingly expensive at 8,200 quid, and the monster range has always been a bit so what? But my, how things have changed. Johnny, which one's tickled your fancy today? Uh, the Ducati S4R. It's just hilarious, it's tremendous, it's, it's absolutely, utterly mad. Ducati seemingly haven't detuned the engine at all, so you've got the, the 996 engine in the as graced the 996S uh, Biposto and S models, making 120 horsepower. Um, and I challenge you to pull away fast in first gear without wheeling. In fact, it should be a valid getaway in court. In fact, I think if you were caught by the police wheeling, you'd say, well, you have a go. It's fantastic around the corners, and it just kind of fits right, and it's beautifully styled, and the paint job's lovely. Does it differ from any of the other monsters you've ridden? Yeah, totally. I mean, it's so light, and it's just kind of compact and saucy and nice. I mean, it'd be a great town bike as well, but to be honest, the performance is so good that whereas previous monsters have been perfect town bikes, this one would be a little bit wasted, I think. The SV looks as sharp as a samurai sword and has a price tag lower than a limbo dancer, but will it froth your coffee? The styling is kind of angular and weird and yeah, kind of funky. Cool. I mean, it's, yeah, it's cool. And traditionally, you know, I've, I've always loved Suzuki's because they do make fairly insane motorcycles. It'll do probably 165 miles an hour flat out and it's got mid-range and you could do wheelies on it. But it's just not fun. <laughs> Ducati, you know, floats my boat. I mean, as I say, I've never been mad about Ducati monsters before, but this one just does it. It's, it's the handling, it's the way the power kicks in, uh, it's the styling. Uh, it's everything to me that a motorcycle, motorcycle should be. The Suzuki, this Suzuki, uh, is not for me, but that doesn't mean it's not for, for everyone, you know. What it has over the Ducati is it's more practical, it's got that Japanese reliability, it's more comfortable for the pillion, it's got more wind protection. People who want something that's a bit mad, a bit hairy, and a lot, a lot of fun to ride will take the Ducati. People who need to ride the bike every day would probably be better off going for the Suzuki. Mm. And I'm a bit torn between the two. I thought the SV650, which is a bike I'd ridden previously, was a much, more, it was a much better package for me personally for the kind of bike I like to ride, but hey, I'll tell you what, the look of this one just blows me socks off. It does, doesn't it? I'll take two. 